on AMP. We have to be always trending something if we're going to be on AMP. Before I tell you what I got to say. Mm. At only because underscore ladybug going to say, why she always come on here eating something? First of all, this girl I'm saying is because I have a, a jar and I am a mother. So when I be talking to y'all, it probably be my first little break for a second where I'm eating my food, my lunch, or my dinner, or whatever. And I'm trying to kill two and three motherfucking birds with one stone by being with my babies. And oh no, uh uh no. At Turk Bish underscore gonna talk about here you go crunching ice and not it. It ain't even ice. It's a tootsie fucking roll. It's a tootsie roll. That's what you get thinking you cute. Mm hmm. Yeah. Some juice. Juice snuck me. Juice snuck me. Tootsie rolls. He was. He was. He wasn't supposed. To. And um, at Nazir Lee said, Nick New York accent be busting the fuck through. Well, I am a New Yorker. What the fuck do you expect? What are we trying to first of all? SFG on Spotify. As in, no, let's just put... All right, let's just try Nikki Freaky. N-I-C-K-I-F-R-E-A-K-Y. Nikki Freaky. And just, just until I hang up. I'm going to be long. Should we do um, pound or just the words? Okay, okay, pound sign, Nikki Freaky, one word. Okay. So, um, here's the thing. Very important. Very important. Um, Okay, thank you, babies. I see y'all all trying to I love you. Okay. And the reason why I juice stuck me to zero is because you know how I can eat, I'm not supposed to be eating it. And when I told Zoo that, that I told him that he was still giving me things, he he said that I was like, you know, making glam people think that he not on his job. And he did not want to be looking like, you know, he encouraging me. You know what I'm saying? So he stopped and he threw out my tootsie rolls. I'm like, I didn't. You know, so. So I'm um, um at con the rapper gonna say you got five minutes and I'm gonna sleep. Yeah. My point is that King Conker said, I'm convinced Nikki be locking juice in the studio. That man never see the light of day. <laughs> he must stay in the guest house. Um, at Mika, Michelle a. said, Tissy Rose makes a lot of slob. Uh -uh. At King JX, MRN said, She's smacking on these Tissy Rose. Um, At six minutes, said we've been behaving really good. Can we get the surprise? Okay, so here's the thing. I'm not gonna lie. 
there was one particular surprise and oh my god that was about to send y'all in a motherfucking frenzy however let me just get something straight when you put out a song you put out a song that one day you know you look back 10 years later and people are still enjoying that song that song is still making people happy people of all ages people of all races you know um I don't put out a song to be in a rat race to go number one on the charts, right? Like, and if you guys, and if you guys don't understand that songs are going to do what songs are going to do, if they connect to the people, you know, if, if it makes people happy, then people are going to listen to the song. What you guys do is an added bonus, but if the general public is not feeling the song, it doesn't matter if you guys do that. And I'll tell you why. If you remember, the reason why Billboard changed its rules was because, remember I told y'all, it's like, y'all don't listen when I talk, but I be saying real shit. I never just talk, I be saying something for a reason. But I be, you know, I have to say things in a certain way for, you know, blah, 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 reasons, right? So, here's the thing. The reason why the rules were changed was because Oh. Thank you, Ashley Mirage. I said, baby, the bobs are working child. Yes. At Eddie Boy 87, I think GP loves this one. Yes, you're right, baby. Listen. Rihanna Zelensky is number one in my house. I love you. Yes, babe. Got my cup of ice for the show. Onika Sunday now. We're very bad. I fucking love you, nigga. Yes. Now listen to this. If you remember, the reason why the Billboard rules were changed in the first place was because barbs had way too much power. The reason why they changed the rules was to make it so that Never in the history, again, would an artist, or in my case, two artists, if y'all remember what I'm talking about, who were being blackballed at the time, would be able to go number one. The purpose of these rules, and it's not bashing, it's just telling you guys the truth. The purpose of these rules were to make sure that you as an artist will always be in need of radio and so if we as a fan base or or let's say bts as a fan base i know you guys really saw recently saw what happened with that if every time we put out a song we can do what we did with say so or trolls then it takes the power out of certain people's hands and they don't like that It's all about power here. And you know that the barbs have a lot of that, a lot of it, right? So points were changed so that radio spins would now be, you know, um, account for more points and that fans wouldn't be able to mass buy Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Um, because you know, once we figured out a couple of loopholes, we were we were good. So, I really want you guys to get out of the mindset. This is not a stand competition. And it's like y'all have allowed a bunch of, I won't even say, to misguide you on your perception of music and the industry and everything. Like, we used to have fun with this shit, but this shit should not become something that 
is not enjoyable. Um, a song should be something that, you know, has longevity, not something that you're feeling to have this peak and then downhill from there because, you know, it was all, um, you know, when it's organic, you don't have to do that. And you can clearly see that this is one of those moments. Now, I said this before, I like to tweet, but if you didn't know, in terms of instrumental, we weren't able to put the instrumental up um, because it's a sample. I saw people saying in uh, CDs and vinyls, and y'all know how I love people who talk about shit that they know nothing about. So FYI, CDs and vinyls, even if I put them on my website, um, they won't count until you physically have them in your hand. That's the rule. And they are currently on back order for months. So, sure, put CDs and vinyls on the website. You ain't gonna get them for months and they're not gonna count for months. So, once again, shout out to everybody who's ready know every fucking thing. The rule change was was specifically designed so that artists coming out of the gate Won't go number one. Exactly, at RYYDTB. You keep on telling me to drop an alternate version. Um, at Nate Mirage. You must have tweeted this 50,000 times. You don't have to tweet it again. You keep telling me I can drop a diff different version of alternate cover. Yes, I know. I know. But again, you are missing the key point. Y'all are basing all of these things that y'all are telling me to do based on the old rules. Now, when I drop that this week, what will happen? Think about that. Think about it. Drop an alternate version this week. What will happen? The song hasn't built up to radio play, which I just told you is the reason that the rules were changed. Right? So there's no radio play to go with it yet because it's building organically like it should, like a smash fucking organic hit should. Right? And... When you put an alternate version out tomorrow, you were going gonna take the song from being number two on global Spotify or number two on on Spotify Apple, and it's gonna go down because now the streams get split. The streams get split because everybody's gonna run and listen to the alternate version, and then what? The point is, everything has to be done at a strategic time. Time. When everything is out and every and the spins and this and that, y'all are basing this on again something from prior rules. It was very easy for me to drop the alternate version before we had fifty fucking million views uh, of a video. Like, stop just saying shit just to say shit. I don't know how many times I'm gonna explain these things. Y'all don't work for Billboard. And on top of that, don't you think that everything you're telling me to do, that the president of Republic Records and everybody that works at Republic Records knows the loopholes? Do you think you're the only one that know that?
And then y'all telling people, oh, put the another version on the website. When it clearly says only one music item will count. And then y'all go and will buy $100,000 worth of things and then all of that gets filtered out. Like, just go hard without blaming and pointing the finger. Do y'all know there's a way to do that? Yeah, like, y'all want me to put out an alternate version tomorrow so that we lose our seating at number two. And that goes down. And now the other, the alternate version goes to whatever, three, four, five, two. And then we can't keep the record of the original one. And then now, um, and now, and after doing that, if it's not going to go number one, then what? Did all of that clown shit for what? My point is that, right, and I'm glad you said that, yikes, Mimi, I don't care about the billboard rules, alternate version, I just want a super free girl music video. Now, once again, when the music video comes out with the song, what have you noticed? People watch the video, the song inevitably loses streams because you're splitting, once again, you're splitting the time between each, the video and the stream. So do you think that if the video came out with the song, that the song would have been on number two globally? No, because most people go They'll watch the video, they'll buy the video, then they can watch the song in the video nonstop. And that's why, if you look, and I won't say any names, if you look at how people have been going about it, they have been doing the things gradually, building up, then putting out a remix, and when they know they have enough radio spins for the remix to matter, when they know they have enough anything for the video to matter can't y'all see what's going on stop acting like it's like sometimes y'all start acting like kids like like you know when you're telling a child something and they're it's either they're slow or they're stubborn it's like we fucking lax and definitely don't disrespect me on my shit because you won't just get unfollowed or blocked and i don't give two fucking shits okay to the ones that are just genuinely trying to help i appreciate you and i love you dearly um but just know that this was the purpose of them doing it so do you think that they went and changed all those rules purposely to stop us from doing this just to let us do it again? No. They did it on purpose because they realized that they were not able to dictate us and a couple other fan bases. Oh, God. Oh, at Latin Bob on this boy. And the fact that you're being shadow banned on Instagram and TikTok. Y'all, please let it the fuck go. Every day y'all are going to tweet I'm shadow banned. Okay, great. Oh, un uninstall your Instagram. Restart it over. Okay, I've done that. Oh, call Instagram. Have everybody call Instagram. Okay, we've done that. Let it the fuck go and enjoy the song. Go out, get a fucking drink. Go to the club, my nigga. What the fuck? Thank you, at King Barb Tings. 
Like, it's just, damn. Yes, I saw that that Winston person due to some changes in the weight of a hot 100 super over uh, super figure is currently estimated at 228 points, 14 less than it was yesterday, and not enough to take first, first place. Um, it's like, yo. Imagine, like, ruining every moment by not being in the moment over people who build their whole life off, off of trying to be me. <laughs> you know, fans trying to be you. Like, come on. Bitches is tweeting all types of random shit because they don't know what the fuck to do or say. I peep it all. You know what I'm saying? Um, Bitches thought they was... You know, the other ones thought they was about to <laughs> rain on my parade and they rained on their own fucking parade. Um, um, but yeah, but yeah, like smash global fucking hit, okay? Sit back and enjoy the fucking ride. Like, what? And that's exactly why some artists don't come and interact with their fans. They sit there, do how do the shit how they want to, and let their fans just deal with the shit. Like I see now, and I'm I'm gonna start doing that shit. I think. God. And by the way, if any one of you are keeping track, if I don't post for a week and post a photo, it's gonna um it's gonna have you know the same three million. If I'm posting every day, it goes down. It's with everyone. Every fucking one. I've been told y'all that the purpose for Instagram in the first place was to make people pay to boost their posts. Remember when I was talking about it and everybody was saying I sounded crazy and all of that? That's the goal. They've been doing it to lots of celebrities, artists, whatever. What did that shadow banning do other than have me break rec fucking records on Spotify right now and on Apple? And this is your problem. Stop being like fucking morons who think posting the dopest picture and the dopest fucking outfit every day is going to have them selling some shit. It don't work like that. <sighs> At Cole Blicky says, not the Kardashians, though. Well, then devote your Twitter to them. Like, if you like their Instagram likes, go over there. I mean, I don't know what the fuck. Like, give me a fucking break.
A lot of y'all faves been paying for fake promo. Y'all didn't know that? Oh, they been on it. These bitches been paying for to get boost boosted photos and shit. Like who you want me to pay a boost a photo of me wearing some Chanel or Christian Dior shit that I ain't getting paid to wear for fucking what? Yes, at Island Barbs. Thank you. I saw how many people used your headers, and I hope they donated something to your cash app. I'll definitely. I want to get. I gotta hook that up on my phone. I don't know how to do that, but it looks. It seems so simple. Um. No, but I really do see. I Somebody recently that said they're not going back on Twitter anymore who used to love Twitter. Yeah, it's like, okay, drop everything on the first day and then um then have nothing moving forward, um with the whole VMA performance coming up and just sit there and have nothing and just be like, Oh well we really wanted to go number one, so we just do I didn't even expect or think a, a song could go number one. Um, you know, like when you first drop it because I've been told that. So I wasn't even thinking in that direction. Um, but we just are naturally getting organic response, organic success, actual real people loving this song, every fucking body loving this song, feeling happy from the song. My label called me today ecstatic, um, saying that the song is the most successful song internationally that I've had since Super Bass. Um, and look, the shit just came out. <sighs> Which means also, that's a good thing for my international boss because that means I'll be coming to see you guys probably sooner than later. But yeah, it's listening. The things that you guys are telling me, we look into it. And we have to make strategic decisions. Um, it's like y'all think this is just me. It's a whole a whole record label. It's whole adults with families to feed. Their jobs, you know, are depending on this and relying on the decisions that they're making with this single and this rollout and this everything. It's not just y'all sitting home thinking of things. No. So anyway, I I love you. I think I'm going to do a full Queen Radio tomorrow night. Okay. But I will check in. I'm actually working on something else that I'm excited about right now. Um, so anyway, you guys, keep on having our little hashtags popping. I will try my best to answer all of your questions. But I am so fucking proud of y'all. It's not even funny. Um, like, 
Y'all, it's so many things that I can't speak on right now. But um, I'm excited. I love you, Dale. Uh, um, I'm going to check in, okay? Let me check in a little bit. I'm not even going to bed right now because I'm still working. Um, and guys, I love like you know giving advice is great, but always look at my likes. Sometimes I've I've already answered it. Sometimes I've commented under it. Ask your friends. Don't just tweet blindly just to be tweeting. You know, like, if we're really, like, trying to be smart and have a goal, ask things that you really think I don't know or I've never answered. Because I'm not going to deny the fact that you guys are very smart and very intuitive. And um, believe it or not, my label gets told about everything you guys tell me and we discuss it so if it's something i'm not doing there's a reason and you should now that i've had this talk with y'all look and go back and look at all the songs um whatever is number one right now and just look 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 like stop just tweeting 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 go